Well, that's it. The Forest Fen treasure has been found, and for the first time, we actually have images of the treasure chest and some of its contents. Now, last night on Del Neitzel's blog site, Forrest posted some pictures with the permission of the finder over on the site that shows some of the contents. It looks like as if Forrest has either traveled to where the man was located back east somewhere or the man had traveled to come in to see Forrest because the pictures of Forrest are fairly recent. So let's all head over there and take a look at this treasure, shall we? Let's go take a look at this treasure that people have been searching for for over 10 years. Let's go take a look at the Forrest Fen treasure. Watch this. Okay, so we're going to come over here. I've got one of the photos pulled up here. This is a photo of the inside contents of the treasure chest not too long after it was found. You know, there are things placed in certain places like that key has been moved. You could tell that rusty key had been sitting on top of that gold coin um, because gold doesn't tarnish. But if a rusty object sits on top of it for a number of period of time, uh, it will leave a spot like that. Some things we can see from this photo is that, you know, it's in a wooded area. You can kind of see in the lower right-hand corner over here, a uh, pine cone sitting there, a lot of pine needles sitting there. Um, this looks like an old piece of tree or log that is really old. You can just tell by the weathering of it, it's really old. You can tell here by the edges of the of the box that it's had mud. It's had mud up and in, inside of it or at least up to the rim of it. This is dried dirt or dried mud. You can actually see some of it fell inside the box here by the hole, by the latch hole. Um, so yeah, it definitely had some moisture in here. <clears throat> you can tell also because of the key that's had moisture in here, that key um, has definitely seen some moisture. And Forrest had said that the box would have moisture. He, know the he knows the box was wet. I don't believe the box was buried, but I think that whatever he said, it definitely settled into the ground. Excuse me, had quite a bit of um, maybe mud and slosh from the rain and weather over 10 years come up onto the box, maybe as high as the lid of the box. Um, so it'd be interesting if we ever hear the story from the finder. Uh, let's zoom in here and see what we can see um, from this picture. Um, lots of gold coins. These are like $5 coins and $20 coins. Um, you can see... Um, here in the left-hand corner, I can see right here on this edge of this coin right here, it has stars there, and it's probably got lettering. It probably says E Pluribus Unum around the exterior with these stars. I believe this is a $20 gold piece. Um, this is a, a rock of either quartz or some other material that has gold uh, running within it. Just an amazing piece. That's an amazing piece. Anytime you can get a rock like that that has gold running in it like that, that's pretty awesome. You can tell this is sort of a plastic sleeve in here, similar to this one down below that has um, gold coins, probably some double eagle coins in there, some various gold coins. Uh, you see another one here that seems to be in a sleeve. Um, I don't know what this stick is doing here. I don't know if this was placed in here as representation of the place where they found it. I don't know if that is a hint. I know a lot of people are talking about this stick right now <clears throat> as possibly being a juniper tree or and then trying to figure out, you know, what where exactly that was at. Um, but going around the edge of the box, you can see it kind of has a wooden interior or what appears to be a wooden interior. Now, there is some kind of sleeve here that runs down from the bottom and runs along this side coming up here. Now, there was said to have been um, some high-dollar value bills put inside some sleeves, and so maybe that's one of them. Now, as I work my way down the box here, just mold, more gold coins. I can see a large gold nugget right here at the just underneath the corner of this baggie. You can see these gold bangles. These are gold uh, gold ropes or gold bangles. Underneath all this, in this plastic baggie here, you can see there's that dragon bracelet. You can see the scales of the dragon bracelet. Um, just an amazing piece that he had in there. There seems to be some kind of hard, um, either golden key maybe. Maybe it extends off this way. Um, or maybe it's some type of earring or maybe it's some type of nose piece or some type of ancient jewelry that he had tucked in there. Um, as we move over here, I don't know what this piece is here. Um, 
this piece looks like maybe it's had some stuff put on. It looks like maybe it's a little corroded in there. I don't know if maybe that's – this baggie also doesn't look like it has a lot of age. This baggie looks like it's fairly modern. <clears throat> so maybe that's why they put it in this baggie. Maybe they needed to protect it right away. Um, maybe it had some corrosion a uh, piece of jewelry or something in here. Um, these big gold plates underneath here, these are supposed to be uh, some kind of ancient mirrors um, that were made of gold that were uh, put in the box. Uh, over here on the right, we have some kind of figurines. Um, maybe that's the golden frog. Maybe that's a piece of the golden frog over here. Um, again, you can see, again, more mud caked up on the edge. If this was just moved and just picture just taken, um, then this mud on the edge wouldn't make sense if it, you know, if they just fell on there from where the finder was currently when he took this picture. This looks like that's caked on. Uh, same with same with the amount of mud down here, especially around the latch area, where you would expect a lot of entrance of water and moisture and mud and debris. Um, you can just see all that coming in. So, uh, again, more nuggets here in the center. Falling into the hole around that dragon bracelet. Um, pretty good sized nuggets right there. And uh, pretty cool. Like just looking around, you can't really see too much. This looks like a jar. This looks like maybe the jar that he had his biography in. And then if we switch over to, um, let me see if I zoom out here again. Yeah, so the lid of the box, it doesn't really show much uh, wear and tear on the bronze over 10 years. It looks pretty typical to me. Um, we head on over here to this picture. This is the for this is Forrest's um, famous bracelet. This is the bracelet that he wanted back. Uh, you can see his uh, his hearing aids, his earpiece here that is fairly modern. Uh, he recently bought that, so I know this is a recent picture. I'm trying to tell. I don't know what these scissors are about. In the next picture, you'll see that these scissors were in there. I don't know if they were placed in there, if they were gold-plated or what, but these seem to have a lot of tarnish. I'm going to zoom in on this picture a little bit um, to get a good look at that bracelet. And it's a bracelet that him and his, they had uncovered these beads and then had a Navajo silversmith or silver worker make it into this bracelet for them. Um, and that's the only piece he said he wanted back, but... If I get down in here, I don't know. This looks like it's a piece of gold, uh, like a gold figurine, maybe with a gem or a piece of jade in there. Um, these baggies, I don't know how old these baggies look. I think that they would be much more yellowed for being 10 years of old, ten years old, so maybe they're more modern. But those scissors, those scissors are interesting. I don't know what those are in there for. And we'll see them in the next picture. I'm going to show you the next picture here. We'll go over here. Uh, now, this was a just a JPEG, so it's not the best of quality, um, but we'll go ahead and zoom in here and take a look at this. So this is the box. I guess they've cleaned it up since they brought it in from the field. They've cleaned it, washed it off, and cleaned it off. And now Forrest is uh, either at a hotel conference room. That's what it kind of looks like to me, a hotel conference room or some kind of uh, you know room that they've secured for Forrest to come in and take a look at this chest. You can see the silver bracelet sitting here. Um, there's the gold frog. You can see that gold frog sitting right there. Um, and let's zoom in some more. Forrest is examining a piece. Let's see how close we can get. That's about as close as we can get. Again, you can over here on this right side, you can see the dragon bracelet. Okay, so this is the uh, biography inside the jar that he had sealed. Over here, these look like those bangles that he had pulled out. A huge gold nugget right here. It looks like he had a um, he had a sleeve of a bunch of gold coins. It looks like he's got a bunch of them all stacked up. This looks like a bra uh, necklace. This looks very similar to the type of necklaces that Forrest makes. Um, so I don't know if this is something he put together or something that it comes from uh, some ancient uh, artifact that he had pulled. Just tons and tons of gold, and I said he had all over 270, 270 uh, gold double eagle coins in there. A huge nugget here, some smaller nuggets here, those ancient plate mirrors made of gold here. Um, this looks like a different type of coin. I'd be interested to see what that is. Something inside of a box here, some other type of piece of jewelry here, similar to the dragon uh, bracelet. Um, sleeves of coins here. And then there is a ring right here. This is like this old ring. I wonder if that's the old Spanish ring um, that he had put in there along with these scissors. 
Now these don't look gold. It looks more, you know, tarnished, like maybe it's just tarnished silver maybe or uh, copper. Um, more gold nuggets. And then, of course, the box, the infamous box that everyone's been searching for for 10 years. Just an amazing photo. But I'm glad we finally get a chance to take a look at the contents of this box. Some of it, at least. It looks like there's not a lot of gems and stuff around. And I know that's going to make a lot of people suspicious. But um, maybe they've, you know, I'm sure there's explanations for things like they pulled them out, they've pulled the stuff out, or maybe they're in a bag, or maybe they didn't wear, uh, you know, weather so well with the uh, with the weather inside of them, and maybe they're they're taking a look at them. I I don't know why that they are not shown in here. There are a couple of pictures out there of Forrest Fenn's treasure chest before he buried it of the contents, and there was a lot of gems shown and stuff. And I know he said he took some of those contents out, but he had left all the gems and stuff in. I did, my my guess is that they're just deeper in this box you can't see them maybe they're underneath the plate maybe they're in in baggies maybe they'd already been removed and put into baggies that's my that's my guess so um there it is i mean we have got we have been waiting and we've been waiting as searchers for some type of proof or some type of uh evidence that the box had been found i think this does release that i think that does show that the box has been found although that I know a lot of people are disappointed on that. And now the next step is that we would like to have a solve. I think he owes it to us to release the solve. But I think he's leaving all this up to the finder, whether the finder wants the solve released or wonder whether the finder wants these pictures released. I think these were released on the finder's call. I think it was his call and his direction. So there it is, that Forrest Fenn treasure. Yep, absolutely amazing um, to be able to see uh, what was actually found in that box. Can you imagine finding, if, doing the research, coming up with your solve, making the trip out to this place, going in deep into this wilderness area, you know, doing all the steps it takes to put boots on the ground and go on this trip, get to your location, finding some kind of blaze, look quickly down and you see the top side of this box peeking out from some location you just it had to be so thrilling it had to be so amazing and then opening this box and finally getting to see the contents of the forest fen treasure absolutely amazing i'm dk with adventures in dirt have yourself a great day and i'll leave you with forest fen's treasure